Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. So here we have an electricity question and the first question says, determine the value of V1. So the first thing I would want you to realize is that V1 is the volt meter that is measuring this parallel combination over here. And what we should remember is that voltage in parallel is the same. And so if you had to look at this branch over here, you should realize that we've got the current, which is 0 0.6 amps, and then we've got the four ohm resistor. So we could use V equals to I times R just for that little branch over there. And so that's gonna be equal to 0 0.6 multiplied by four, and that's gonna give us 2.4 volts. And so that will be the voltage for V1, which what it also means is that that's the voltage across this branch and it's also the voltage across this branch because why? Voltage in parallel is the same. The next question says, determine the value of A1. So A1 is the current flowing in the main part of the circuit. So what we could do here is we must realize that the electricity will flow out of well, the conventional current flows out of the positive and then it gets to this part over here and then it splits. Some of the electricity will go down this branch while the remaining electricity would go down here. We already know that 0, 0,6 amps is going through this branch. So what we would need to do now is work out how much electricity is flowing through this branch we could then add those two together and that would tell us how much current is flowing in the main part of the circuit. So we already know that in this part of the circuit over here, we know that the voltage is 2.4 volts, 2.4 volts, because we said voltage in parallel is the same. And so only looking at these two numbers here, I can use I equals V over R and that will give us a voltage of, we know the voltage is 2.4, the resistance is six. And so if we're to work that out, we end up with 0, 0,4 amps. So we have 0, 0,6 amps flowing in this branch and we have 0, 0,4 amps flowing through that branch. And so if we add them up, we can then say that A1 will be equal to 0, 0.6 plus 0 0.4, and so that will be one amp. The last question says, determine the EMF of the battery. So the most easy way to do this for a situation like this would just be to use the EMF formula, which goes EMF is equal to I bracket, big R plus small r. And so we wanna calculate the EMF. We already know the current flowing in the main part of the circuit. Remember that that current there is the main part of the circuit, which is the one amp that we've just calculated. Now we're gonna have to know small r. Now remember the small r is the internal resistance of the battery, so that's 0 0.8. But the big r is all of the resistors in the external part of the circuit. Now the external part would be everything outside the battery. So it would be these two together, and this one. So Kevin, does that mean we're just gonna add them all up? Well, it depends. These two over here are in parallel, so we don't add them up. We don't say six plus four. Instead, we add them up using the parallel formula, which goes like this. One over R parallel is equal to one over R1 plus one over R2. So we're gonna go add that up first. So one over six plus one over four. You'll then just go add those two numbers together. And no, it's not gonna be one over 10. Be careful there. You're just gonna add them up on your calculator. And that gives you five over 12. You can then flip this upside down and you flip this one upside down. And so R parallel is equal to 12 over five, which is the same as 2,4 ohms. There we go. And then we can add that 2,4 to this 
because what we've done is we've taken these two, we can think of we've taken those two away and we've turned them into a single resistor of 2,4 and so now it's that 2,4 will be in series with that 5,8 and so we just add them together now. So R is going to be 2,4 plus 5,8 and that will be 8.2 ohms. And so that is the R that we can use in this part of the formula over there. And so if we had to go work this all out, we should find that the EMF of the battery is 9 volts. Awesome. That's us done for this question. See you in the next one.